What exactly did Andy come out with here? I've heard it called the anti-iPhone. Right, so there's two products as part of a larger ecosystem with this new Ambient OS. The first, like you mentioned, is the smartphone. It's the essential phone. Why is it an anti-iPhone? I think because you can install pretty much any app on it. It's expandable. It's modular. There's a 360-degree camera attachment. It's and how is this different from Android? Well, it's really differentiated by the hardware, mm -hmm. right? And there's a custom interface on top of the, the Android core of the software. The hardware is really nice. It has titanium edges. It has a ceramic back. Comes in four cool looking colors. There's a gold one. You've seen that before with the iPhone. Pretty much every phone these days, there's a, a gold, white, and black and gray color option. Uh, but it does look pretty nice with the ceramic and titanium. The screen is edge to edge, sort of like the new Samsung phone and the iPhone 8 that's coming out in the fall. So there's a lot to like here from a hardware design perspective. So there's Apple, there's Samsung, Google has phones now, but there's a whole host of Chinese competitors. What makes the smartphone market growth is slowing down? What makes him think there's room for another device? I'm not sure. I mean, there is a market for those phones, some of those Chinese makers that you mentioned, like Huawei and Xiaomi, and there's another company called OnePlus that has these $700, $600, even $500 in some cases, unlocked phones that you can put on any carrier you'd like. But this phone is, is really high end. It's a $700 phone, and it's part of this big ecosystem. Is it going to make a dent in Google's market share, Samsung's market share, Apple's? I, I, I would totally bet against And that. what about Android in general? Android, I think this just shows you that Android is pretty much everywhere at this point. I've seen refrigerators, microwaves, home appliances, obviously phones with Android. It powers hundreds of millions, if not a billion, devices across many different platforms across the world. And this essential phone is just yet another. So how would you say this play stacks up against Amazon Echo, Google Home, and those two companies in AI? Right, so th this home product is what you're referring to, yep. right? So it has this new OS built on, uh, it's called Ambient OS. It's probably built upon an Android core, but they haven't said. The difference is, is that this is very assistant oriented. You talk to it, it gives you information. It's very small, like the Echo Dot, so it doesn't have big speakers, which is a big differentiator from the Amazon Echo, the, the, the bigger one, as well as the, the Google Home, which do have pretty loud speakers, something we understand that Apple's looking into as well for its home device. Now talk to me about the setup because it automatically in introduces itself to existing devices, correct? And supposedly makes for an easier setup, which I, is one of the huge problems and why people don't have, don't connect their homes to begin with because it is such a headache to get everything online. Right, I mean, I mean, I can't speak to how easy the setup is because I haven't tried it yet and they haven't said when it's going to come out, probably later in the summer, definitely after the phone is, is what I'm gleaning from looking at their website. But it's promising to have all sorts of integrations with HomeKit and other platforms for smart home devices. So it would make sense that you could pretty much set it up with a snap, pretty much probably from the, the interface as well. So how optimistic are you about it? Optimistic? Well, I would be, it would not be wise of me to bet against Andy Rubin. I mean, if you remember, he helped create the sidekick. He also, obviously. Some people don't remember the sidekick, so. I, I remember the sidekick. Remind us that this is a very old phone. It I came out at the, the turn uh, of. Yeah, I like the Dwayne Wade <laughs> the edition. The new millennium. With the, with the basketball <laughs> stuff on the sidekick. So, yeah, the sidekick was extraordinarily popular. It really helped make T Mobile when that launched as a carrier mm -hmm. over, over a decade ago. Uh, in the US, if you remember that. And so he did that, and also Android. It's ubiquitous. It's the OS for technology products today across many different platforms, from cars to fridges to microwaves, all over your home. So it would be difficult to bet against Andy Rubin. Will it make a dent? I, I don't think so. I would, I would bet against that. Mm. But it seems like there is room for another hardware player to make premium devices, and that's what he's doing.